So my name is Austin McGee, and my accident happened on Labor Day 2014. I was 17, and I was told that I overcorrected, and I hit a tree head on. Wow. Uh, yeah. Holy cow. Do you remember any of it? Nope. Nope? <laughs> yeah, me either. Wow. So when you when you did start coming to, what was what was it like? I mean, what do you, what are some of your earliest memories? Well, my very first memory is waking up and coming into the kitchen and asking my mom to give me some food. I think she had Mexican. Yeah. Was eating because she spent like all of her time by my bedside. Yeah. And checking on me. Mm-hmm. Wow, so four months, you don't remember. Were you with it and you just don't remember? Like, were you able to function and stuff during that time? I uh, really learned how to walk during that time. Wow. So I you don't even, remember. there was a time when you couldn't walk, but you don't even remember it. Yeah. Wow. And then, so you were walking again, you walked into the kitchen, asked for the Mexican food. That's awesome. Was it ever hard for you when you kind of started realizing what this accident meant? Well, I was lucky enough not to really realize exactly how bad I was Yeah. my accident. And my mom asked me if I wanted to be treated the same or different. Yeah. And I thought that I was just like every other 17 year old yeah. kid. And I'm like, I want to be sure to say, yeah. I won't be any different. Yeah. And I didn't realize exactly what all was going on with me and everything. But getting back to where I am and going to school and everything is it's been a challenge. Yeah. How, how did that go? Like, when did you go back to school? Well, I graduated that same year because I was a smart kid and had enough credits. So you were able to graduate based on the credits you already had? Mm-hmm. Wow! That's insane. And so then, what are you doing now? Oh my and goodness. I'm going for an elementary education degree. Wow. So you're still doing the education thing? Yeah. And gosh, that's incredible. I mean, has it been a lot of work to get to where you are now? It sure has. Yeah? Tell me more about that. It's. Well, I had to relearn things. Like how to tie my shoes, yeah, and triple fractions, and I uh, forgot a lot of math. Yeah, and that was pretty hard for me because I was taking advanced math courses in high school. And yeah, to be brought down to that level, I was just taking it back. Yeah. So, what do you think you've taken from this? How has it affected you? I guess. So it's humbling for sure, and then it's also um, given you kind of this empathy towards towards people who who might struggle in the same way that you do. Yeah, that's incredible. I feel like life is what you make it. If you think that if you think 
think that you're going to do well, you are. But if you think that you're going to fail and stay where you're at, that's also just as likely. It's all in your mindset. Yeah. If you can get into a positive frame of mind, you can succeed. That is a lion heart right there. That's incredible. Man, I'm proud of you, dude. Um, it's really, really cool to meet you. And uh, I'm excited to see you teaching kids one day. I think that'll be really, really awesome. And I, I can totally see how God's using your story in incredible ways. Um, so keep it up. And I love that mentality of, of uh, life's what you make it and you make the most. Maybe, Mom, just from you a little bit more, uh, I'm curious what that early season was like for you. It must have been devastating. Oh, it was horrible because, like, you're, you know, you see your son, and, you know, I just seen him an hour ahead before, he, like, he left, and he always, like, texts me when he got to work. Well, he didn't text me, and I see him on start, and I just knew. So, arriving on the scene, like, there's, I mean, his car's on fire, and I don't know, you know, if he's in there or whatever. Yeah. It was horrible. For four and a half months, I mean, he didn't talk, he didn't communicate, and people yeah. were saying, you know, he's, he doesn't have the cognition. But I just kept thinking, I, I just see a little, I mean, I see him in there, but he didn't show any emotion on his face. Mm-hmm. And then, even through that, I'm like, God was protecting us. Like, he, when Austin started talking, that's when he kind of finally emerged, I guess is the word. But, yeah. I mean, it was the hardest time definitely of my life. I prayed that God would let yeah. me take his place. But then I just feel like God was just telling me one day, like, if I wanted it to be you, it would be you. Yeah. This is, you know, this is Austin's story. And so yep. I don't know how we would have got there without our faith. Like, wow. And then he's, you know, like, he did a therapy for a couple of years, like two or three years, yep. even after. And so it was hard. But I'm, I'll say Austin doesn't have a bad day. Like, he can get a little frustrated every now and then, but I was just thinking the other day, he doesn't have a bad day. He gets over it. It's, wow. you know, it's, you, it's hard to get frustrated over the little things, you know? We are, right, right, exactly. It's like, wait, for me, it's, wait, but I'm, like, I'm walking again, I'm married to my dream girl, and, like, wait, how can I complain about anything right now <laughs> when exactly. I thought that those things were gone, you know? I love that. Well, very nice talking, and uh, hopefully I'll see you very soon. Okay, thank you. Peace. See you. Bye.